my adobo pie. I'm so happy about it because I did an experiment. So, you know when I went to New Zealand and I noticed that they put everything in a pie. I explored their curry pie. Their curry pie, the only thing for me, is I wanted this flavors to be stronger. The spices in the pie that I tried in New Zealand is a bit weak for me. So I want, I just wanted it to be stronger. So I made a curry, you know, that is to my liking. And then I put it in a pie and I enjoyed that. And, and then I decided, you know what? What about Filipino food? What about put Filipino food in a pie? Adobo, the most popular Filipino dish <laughs> that everyone seems to like. I turned it into a meat pie. It's kind of like me, you know, half Filipino, half English. Um, adobo inside, pie on the outside. And you know what? It turned out really well. I'm so happy about it. But my Filipino in me still wanted to eat it with rice. So I still ended up eating it with rice. Hi guys, since man's here again. I love food. Okay, I'm a foodie. I like exploring food. I cook a lot. Part of it is because I grew up in Philippines and we have help. So it's cheap to have help in the Philippines. So I got used to having home-cooked breakfast, lunch, dinner, and it's a normal thing. Even snacks, you get like home-cooked snacks. For me, my kids' experience should be better than my experience, you know, growing up, because then it's an improvement. Whatever I had, they should have more. That's what I think anyway. I guess to be able to cope with that, I have trained myself to develop my routine in a way where I'll be able to provide that for them. They will have home cooked breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I'm used to cooking all the time. It's become such a routine for me that it's like having a shower. It's like you can just go on autopilot. But the actual experience itself is not really something that I enjoy. I don't really have that much passion for it. But I do have a lot of passion for food, for eating the food. And I think the taste, tasting the food and having that experience is one of the things that brings me happiness. It's one of the things in life, I think, that we can enjoy. And I love exploring different types of food. I love exploring other cuisines. Some of my motivation for cooking has something to do with my passion for eating it. The actual cooking itself is not particularly something that I enjoy. You know, I wouldn't say that I want to be a chef, you know. <laughs> and I wouldn't say that I'm an expert either. When I go to places, it's one of the things that I enjoy, exploring the food in those places. Especially things that I have not tried before. Oh my gosh, I just recently, ex mm. I explored something new, actually. My adobo pie. I'm so happy about it because I did an experiment. So, you know when I went to New Zealand and I noticed that they put everything in a pie. I explored their curry pie. Their curry pie, the only thing for me, is I wanted this flavors to be stronger. The spices in the pie that I tried in New Zealand is a bit weak for me. So I want I just wanted it to be stronger. So I made a curry, you know, that is to my liking. And then I put it in a pie. And I enjoyed that. And and then I decided, you know what? What about Filipino food? What about put Filipino food in a pie? Adobo, the most popular Filipino dish <laughs> that everyone seems to like. I turned it into a meat pie. It's kind of like me, you know, half Filipino, half English. Um, adobo inside, pie on the outside. And you know what? It turned out really well. I'm so happy about it. But my Filipino in me still wanted to eat it with rice. So I still ended up eating it with rice. I was just on my live today on Bigo. And my dog was like, you know your leftover pie crust? Put it around the sausages. And this came about. And this is what I had for breakfast today. It actually turned out really well. Apparently, they call it sausages in a blanket in America. And maybe it's similar to pigs in a blanket here. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. But it turned out really good. And I'm like, oh, I don't even need toast to go with my sausage. I can just have it. I do a lot of exploring with food. But there's something about Philippines. Because I grew up there. So there will always be food 
from Philippines that I would feel like Oh my gosh, I missed that and I want to eat it. I was going through my videos and I saw some of these videos that I didn't even manage to post during that time because there were so many things going on that I didn't get the chance to post it. I was attending a wedding and then next thing you know, I'm in Australia, next thing you know, I'm in New Zealand. So now that everything is calm, I now have the chance to actually post this video. My food trip. Oh my gosh. Time to juicy hot dog. Fish skin. Suka. Oh, spicy. And chan cheese flavored popcorn. I have so much passion for food. A lot of people seem to think that, oh, if you have passion for food, you're gonna get fat. But I don't see it that way. I think you can control the amount of food that you eat. I manage it by watching how much you actually eat. When I eat, my mind still thinks about, oh, what nutrients do I get from this? If I eat something that I'm craving right now, what nutrients did I get from that? And then balance it out with the rest of the food that I eat for the rest of the day. And like when I'm on a holiday, I manage my meals. Like, it should be a meal that I'm eating. I will include whatever it is into that meal. I love food, but I think I'm managing to maintain the weight that I want. Even if I just take a bite from it, I just want to experience that taste. And sometimes that's enough for me, but I want to be able to taste it. I'm not fussy. I will taste anything and everything, but obviously, if I taste it and I think it's not worth getting more calories from it anymore because I don't really like it that much, <laughs> then I won't eat any more of it. But like, if I taste it and I'm like, hmm, actually, you know what, I can eat more of this, then I will. But also, I think about the nutrient contents. It might not be very tasty, but actually, I like the nutrients that I will get from it, that I will eat it. Oh my gosh, and all the street food. I miss, I miss so much. Oh, pakita mo yung taho mo, eh, ano mo? <laughs> Benta mo, o oh, patihin ako natin. Ito ma'am, yung wala pang flavor, pero pwede ko natin gagawin. Ano nakalagay dito sa kabila? Wala. Ano nakalagay dito? Wala, ah, wala. Ah, ba, lalagyan lang siya. Kasi siya ganyan siya. Ah, baon mo. Ang galing naman ni Kuya. O, sige. When I manage my meals on holidays, especially if I'm in Philippines, my brother and his wife were laughing at me because our order got mixed up and you can potentially just eat it anyway but i was like for me every meal is important 
because that's like my chance to eat something that I've been missing, something that I've been craving. And I'm not gonna waste my meal, you know, <laughs> on something that I don't particularly want. <laughs> I don't want to do that. These are all the food that I have mm, enjoyed, you know, over my holiday in Philippines. I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm a ninja without a name, don't fall in love.